In the realm of myth and morality, few figures embody the essence of greed and materialism as distinctly as Mammon, the greedy hoarder. Across cultures, religions and centuries, the archetype of Mammon has persisted, serving as a cautionary tale against the relentless pursuit of wealth at the expense of spiritual and moral well-being. In this extensive exploration, we delve into the historical origins, religious interpretations, literary representations, economic implications, psychological dimensions, societal impacts, ethical considerations, and environmental consequences associated with mammon. Through a multidisciplinary lens, we seek to unravel the complexities surrounding this enigmatic figure and shed light on its enduring relevance in our contemporary world. 1. Historical Origins of Mammon The Etymology of the Term Mammon can be traced back to ancient Aramaic and Hebrew roots, where it originally denoted wealth or riches. In the New Testament of the Christian Bible, Mammon is personified as a malevolent deity representing the seductive allure of material possessions and the corrupting influence of greed. The concept of Mammon also finds echoes in various ancient civilizations, where the accumulation of wealth was often associated with power and status. From the golden treasures of ancient Egypt to the opulent displays of wealth in the Roman Empire, Mammon has been a recurring motif in human history, symbolizing both the promise of prosperity and the perils of excess. 2. Mammon in religious texts within religious texts, Mammon occupies a prominent place as a symbol of worldly temptation and spiritual corruption. In the teachings of Jesus Christ, Mammon is explicitly condemned as an idol that competes with the devotion owed to God. The famous biblical passage, You Cannot Serve Both God and Mammon, encapsulates the inherent conflict between spiritual values and material pursuits. Across different faith traditions, similar warnings against the dangers of greed and avarice can be found, emphasizing the importance of humility, charity, and detachment from material possessions. Mammon thus serves as a moral antagonist, tempting believers away from the path of righteousness and leading them astray with promises of wealth and power. 3. Mammon in Literature and Popular Culture The archetype of Mammon has been a recurring motif in literature and popular culture, inspiring countless works of fiction, drama and art. From medieval morality plays depicting the perils of greed to modern novels exploring the psychological depths of materialism, Mammon has left an indelible mark on the literary imagination. In John Milton's epic poem, Paradise Lost, Mammon appears as one of the fallen angels, advocating for the construction of Pandemonium, the capital of hell, as a monument to worldly ambition. In Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, the character of Ebenezer Scrooge embodies the spirit of Mammon, hoarding wealth at the expense of human connection and compassion. Through these and other literary representations, Mammon continues to serve as a cautionary figure, reminding readers of the dangers of unchecked greed and selfishness. 4. Mammon and Economic Systems In the realm of economics, Mammon manifests in the form of capitalism, a system characterized by the pursuit of profit and the accumulation of wealth. While capitalism has undoubtedly led to unprecedented levels of economic growth and prosperity, it has also been criticized for exacerbating inequality, fostering consumerism, and prioritizing short-term gains over long-term sustainability. The relentless pursuit of profit at any cost, often associated with Mammon, has led to environmental degradation, social unrest, and ethical dilemmas. Critics argue that capitalism in its current form encourages a mindset of greed and self-interest, undermining the values of community, cooperation, and compassion. 
Alternative economic models such as socialism and sustainable development seek to temper the excesses of mammon with principles of equity, justice and environmental stewardship. 5. Mammon and Psychology From a psychological perspective, mammon can be understood as a manifestation of human desires for security, status and self-validation. The pursuit of wealth and material possessions is often driven by deeper emotional needs, such as the desire for acceptance, recognition and belonging. Psychologists have identified various cognitive biases and psychological mechanisms that contribute to our propensity for greed and materialism, including the hedonic treadmill, social comparison theory and status-seeking behavior. Mammon thrives on our insecurities and vulnerabilities, promising fulfillment and happiness through the acquisition of wealth and possessions. However, research suggests that materialism often leads to diminished well-being, as it fosters a sense of emptiness and dissatisfaction that cannot be alleviated through material means alone. By understanding the psychological roots of mammon, Individuals can cultivate greater self-awareness and cultivate more meaningful sources of happiness and fulfillment. 6. Mammon in Modern Society In the modern world, mammon is omnipresent, permeating every aspect of our lives from the economy to politics, from culture to technology. The rise of consumer culture and the proliferation of advertising have fueled a relentless pursuit of material possessions, perpetuating the myth that happiness can be bought and sold. Social media platforms amplify the culture of comparison and competition, fostering a constant desire for validation and status symbols. Meanwhile, corporate interests wield immense power and influence, shaping public policy and cultural norms to serve their own agendas. Mammon's grip on society is further reinforced by systemic inequalities, institutionalized greed and the erosion of ethical norms. In this increasingly interconnected and materialistic world, the challenge of resisting Mammon's temptations has never been greater. 7. Mammon and Ethics Ethically, Mammon poses a profound dilemma, forcing individuals to confront the tension between self-interest and the common good. Philosophers have long debated the moral implications of wealth and poverty, grappling with questions of justice, fairness and responsibility. From Aristotle's concept of the golden mean to Kant's categorical imperative, ethical theories offer various frameworks for navigating the complexities of mammon. At the heart of these debates lies the question of how to balance individual freedom with social solidarity, how to reconcile the pursuit of self-interest with the obligations of citizenship, and how to cultivate virtues of generosity, humility and compassion in a world dominated by greed and self-interest. Mammon challenges us to rethink our values, priorities and ethical commitments urging us to strive for a more just and equitable society. 8. Mammon and Environmental Impact The environmental impact of mammon is perhaps most evident in the exploitation of natural resources, the production of consumer goods, and the generation of waste and pollution. The relentless pursuit of economic growth has led to deforestation, habitat destruction, and species extinction, threatening the delicate balance of ecosystems worldwide. Meanwhile, carbon emissions from industrial activities have fueled climate change, exacerbating extreme weather events, rising sea levels and environmental degradation. Mammon's insatiable appetite for consumption and profit has pushed planetary boundaries to the brink, endangering the very ecosystems and resources on which human survival depends. To address the environmental crisis, it is imperative to confront the root causes of mammon, including unsustainable consumption patterns, corporate greed and regulatory failures. Only by transcending the narrow dictates of mammon can we hope to build a more sustainable and resilient future for generations to come. 
9. Mammon and Alternatives In response to the pervasive influence of Mammon, various alternatives and counter-narratives have emerged, challenging the dominant paradigm of greed and materialism. Movements such as minimalism, voluntary simplicity, and degrowth advocate for lifestyles characterized by frugality, mindfulness, and ecological sustainability. Ethical investing, fair trade, and corporate social responsibility offer pathways for aligning economic activity with social and environmental values. Indigenous worldviews and spiritual traditions emphasize the interconnectedness of all life and the importance of living in harmony with nature. By embracing these alternatives, individuals can resist mammon's temptations and cultivate more meaningful and fulfilling ways of living. However, systemic change is also needed to address the structural injustices and inequalities perpetuated by mammon, including wealth concentration, corporate power, and neoliberal policies. Only through collective action and solidarity can we hope to transcend mammon and create a more just and equitable world for all. 10. Conclusion In conclusion, mammon, the greedy hoarder, represents the epitome of human greed and materialism, compelling us to confront the ethical, psychological, economic, and environmental implications of our pursuit of wealth and possessions. Across cultures and centuries, Mammon has served as a cautionary figure, warning us of the spiritual and moral dangers of unchecked greed and selfishness. Yet, Mammon also offers an opportunity for reflection and transformation, challenging us to reconsider our values, priorities, and commitments. By resisting Mammon's temptations and embracing alternatives rooted in justice, sustainability, and compassion, we can forge a path towards a more equitable, resilient, and flourishing world for all beings. In the face of Mammon's allure, let us heed the wisdom of ancient sages and modern prophets alike, remembering that true wealth lies not in what we possess, but in how we live, love, and serve others.